Good morning, it's day one of the Easter holidays and today we are going to buy a um, tough tray. They're used um, mainly for builders, I think cement mixing, they're quite big. Um, but they're also really great for letting the kids play. So things you don't want to get over the floor like rice, water, bubbles, things like that. So we're going to go and buy that today. Um, also going to get some scoops and some other bits and bobs for them to play with. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have some adventures for that over the holidays. So the trug success, uh, that was £15. And then we stopped at one of the pound stores and got a few bits and bobs to play with. So eggs that we can fill, some foil cases, sieves, whisks, spoons, scoops, cups and some gardening pots. So guys, it's a beautiful sunny uh, Monday. And here is my washing machine. Yeah, not really the most helpful place to put it. Um, they came to they came to deliver it, and apparently we're not in for connection and disconnection, even though we've traded our old one in. So um, common sense would tell you that they need to take it. I've spent forty five minutes on the telephone trying to get this sorted, and I've had a massive apology and um, some reassurance that someone will be around today to install my <coughs> extremely expensive washing machine. So the day after the washing machine saga, I ran out of energy last night to, um, to explain to you guys what happened. So I was going to get a call back at three, uh, which turned out to be four o'clock before I phoned them back for another half an hour, to which I was told very rudely that it was my problem because I'd signed for the machine and that the delivery guys had made no such promise. So after some stressing and speaking to a couple of friends, um, we got a local company to come around and amazingly they came around that night, which had just started raining as well. So we were all a bit concerned. So it's here. Let's turn it on. It sings, the washing machine sings, which is great when my kids are on one this morning and it'd be quite good. So let's um, shut the door. And then there's this little hatch, look for when you forget the sock. So at the moment we've got bedding in there for this morning. And so there's a wash that does 15 minutes, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, so I'm gonna use the 39 minute one. I do like the tune. The tune is pretty cool. It'll also tell me if the kids turn it on, which is, and they are absolutely fab. So this is what a milk-free Easter looks like. Um, we've got some, obviously some milk-free um, Easter eggs and some um, chocolate. And then you just have to kind of get a little bit of inventive. So, um, and we're gonna fill these little eggs here with those so that um, they can still have a little bit of an Easter egg hunt. Hi, so uh, this is meant to be Cuba. Clearly it isn't. This is uh, Cumbria, we're in the hills. I'll show you around. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So um, we couldn't go to Cuba because my leukemia is currently not being controlled by the chemo I was on. So it was really disappointing. Um, but we decided that as my mum was up looking after the kids, we would still make the most of coming away. So we've come away for a few days. I've come to park and Andrew has driven under a little bollard that stops big vehicles coming in, which we scraped and clattered and clunked. And uh, I think we may have taken the aerial off the roof. This is currently the view in the car. We are at Whitehaven, which is absolutely beautiful. The sunshine has come out for us. Ah, there's the aerial. Oops. Glad I've got six wheel suspension. So that's the end of vlog number two. Thanks for watching. The washing machine has been a great success, as has the tough tray. Uh, next month, we are building our bug hotel. So come along for some inspiration. Um, and yeah, any feedback, any comments, let us know. I've been Sue for Liberty Magazine.